All right, welcome back to the Sports Max Zone. We continue with football, but of the schoolboy variety over in Trinidad and Tobago. We are in the final rounds of the league and early on Wednesday at the Manny Ramjam Stadium. Second place presentation college San Fernando hosted league leader St. Benedict's College in a top of the table clash. Well, Colin Murray, Brent Sancho and Liu Chin were on duty and they filed this report. Thank you, Mariah. Yes, we are here at the Manny Ram John Stadium. Huge game in the SSFL uh, just a few moments ago. St. Benedict's with a 2-0 victory over Presentation College. I'm here with Colin Murray and Brent Sancho. Gentlemen, let's go through those highlights. Excitement in South. Yeah, and of course, uh, referee Cecil Hines was the one who uh, had the whistle for this game. And uh, let's uh, have a look at these highlights. It was a really good game. And um, it started with... Uh, presentation really dominated there's referee Hines getting the action going and presentation was dominating the early possession uh, the, but St. Benedict's they were really tight at the back they, they weren't giving anything away um, but there was Boyce the leading goal scorer for presentation having a header should have done better didn't have much power and direction but the keeper came up but St. Benedict's but presentation kept coming that guy Jacob he was cutting in from that left side kept coming inside looking for the shots but then this happened a free kick for uh, present for St. Benedict's just outside the box. Adam Peer, who was playing that defensive midfielder, he came forward. The wall was set up. He curled it around the wall. The keeper dived to his left. Marcelo Peer got his left hand hit, but couldn't uh, stop it. And then Burke had a beauty of a run going down that left side. Very speedy player, um, but tried a one-time shot. Went straight to the went straight to the keeper. And then this man Garcia having a crack every time he gets the opportunity to go to goal he does but they never really got over that one and then a long range free kick coming from Cody Cooper the uh, presentation uh, captain then Jacob with a free kick as well so they were having the opportunities presentation but they just couldn't find the back of the net and when they did goalkeeper Devonish was in the way and then this long ball played to Garcia he outran the defense, took it on the chest, and look at this for a finish. Well, well, we've seen this guy score goals like that before. He's a wonderful finisher. Look, outrunning the defense, took him and took it on the chest, and Cooper couldn't get back to lend support to, Ren, to Rennie, and he put it into the back of the net to make it 2-0. Says to the presentation supporters, listen, keep quiet for the moment, because I'm Zoom Zoom Garcia, and I rule things here at uh, the Manny Ranjon Stadium. So a, a brilliant victory, Brent, in the end, um, when you think of it. But uh, let's just quickly go through the stats. 11 shots to seven, again, in favor of St. Benedict. Seven shots to three, the targets, and 10, 10 to six, one yellow card apiece. But look at that possession, 62% for presentation, 38% for uh, St. Benedict's, nine runs into the box as opposed to eight. But when you look at that possession, when you look about that possession at the moment, um, presentation certainly dominated the possession. But I think you, the coach mentioned it, Brent. Yeah. They came with a plan. They didn't mess around at the back. They got the ball out. And presentation was knocking the ball around, but they just weren't penetrative. Well, of course, uh, presentation being uh, the only team that possibly could catch St. Benedict's yep. College as we get to the business and on the tail end of this season. And because of that, as Coach Boyce mentioned, he played it safe and he played defensive. And you could play it safe when you have a player of Garcia's ability that could run on to those loose balls. The second ball, the second goal was absolutely outstanding. And in a game that, uh, for a presentation college perspective, lacked genuine quality when they got into the final right. third, you have somebody like this here on your team for St. Benedict's College. His composure, his ability, his first touch was okay, but that finish was something special because the ball was still quite high up in the air. He had to adjust himself right about here. Goalkeeper Phillips advancing, yeah. and he just tucked it away from him. He didn't give him any chance whatsoever, and that there, my friends, is a striker's finish. And, and he nearly had another one yep. in, where, where, when he outran the defense. He was being hunted by about six, <laughs> six players. They never got close to him. He had the left foot and hit the post. I mean, this is a young man who certainly has places to go. Yeah, this is it here. He just uh, took it up 
occupation of all <laughs> look, of these black look at players that. Look in at black. That. Look at that. They chased One him, five. they chased him. And, <laughs> and of course, he was still able to get a shot off that just edged off the post. Remarkable play by Garcia. Of course, an outstanding player, an outstanding yeah. talent. And more importantly, gentlemen, we talked about the, the controversy yep. coming yeah. into this fixture, where his mindset would be. Of course, uh, there were reports coming in about questioning his eligibility, uh, coming back from his stint for a couple of months outside of these shores and back into school. But I'm, what I'm happy about was two things, guys. First of all, he was able to put in that sort of performance. But more importantly for me, that hopefully the title will be decided on the pitch and not yeah. off the pitch. And the young men who have worked so hard throughout this season are not robbed of anything. I do hope that common sense prevail and more importantly that we get the type of result that sticks to the plan which is football yeah it's always a, a pity because i feel for the player at this point in time this is a young man who is really being targeted now by whoever and and it's a pity and i, I like the comment from coach boyce as well when he said you know what we have a job to do on the field right. we will do our job let administration do their job and that's a fact you know and, and it's such a pity because as brenda said let the title be decided on the field, Correct. not in some room. Yes. And, and quickly, quickly, does this mean, is this the title here for St. Benedict? Is that it? You would have to say I, so. I think, yeah. I think so. It's yeah. very difficult yeah. to see anyone. And uh, simply when you look at what they possess, it's hard to see yeah. them uh, going in such a slump that they give away the title. And must be, must be said as well, from where I st stand, gentlemen, I thought they have been the most consistent team throughout the season and they've showed it here today by coming up with that big result and quality let's yeah. don't forget right. that they yes. possess a lot of quality absolutely brilliant win two nil st benedict's take it against presentation college and they are totally in the driving seat in this ssfl season that's all for us here at uh, manny ram john stadium back to you guys in studio Thank you so much to our team in Trinidad and Tobago. So Lance, I was on the edge of my seat just now. Let's just say um, St. Benedict's College, they have a seven point lead when it comes to the SSFL table. Presentation College, they have three matches left. St. Benedict's College, they have two more fixtures to play. But what about Zoom Zoom Garcia? He gets my vote for the class moment. Is he even in the Sportsmax class moment? <laughs> the producers will decide that, but he's a special player. So good. Even you Re said something in your Jamaican accent. That boy can play, but you didn't <laughs> say it like that. No, he, real quality, <laughs> real, real quality. His balance, his balance. That's one of the highly underestimated facets of, of any sports competitor. Plants like seven people were chasing yeah, him. Yeah, his, his balance, his center of gravity and how he moves and, you know, he can kick with both feet. And he's a very, very, very special player. Um, reference was made there by uh, Brent about some controversy surrounding his eligibility because he had been on trial in Europe and was not in school for a while, came back home and uh, I think there is some story going around from the Ministry of Education standpoint um, inquiring about his eligibility for the tournament, which is, was a potential um, side-tracking issue for him, but it didn't did, bother him today and he played that. really well. Um, kudos to how well they played St. Benedict's because President College and their coach Sean Cooper an outstanding coach tried his best they had more possession and he tried tactically as best as he could to get his presentation college team Sean Cooper to nullify St. Benedict's but 2-0 the scoreline in the end and St. Benedict's getting what looks like a pivotal result today. I like that celebration too I think I'm going to start doing that for all of those trolls on my um, social media I'm going to start doing the be quiet celebration is that all right yeah <laughs> all right good okay well there are seven other ssfl matches on the day let's take a look so we had that presentation versus st benedict's then east mokarapu secondary versus arima north secondary malik secondary versus st anthony's college miracle ministries versus st augustine secondary queen's royal college up against fatima signal hill versus naparima college st mary's college versus trinity college east well, you can tune into the Sportsmax Zone on Thursday for an update of all of the results. Break time.